Dean, thank you. Today, Vice President Harris will visit Monterey Park after last weekend's mass shooting. Last night, mourners gathered to pay their respects to the victims. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos is live in Monterey Park. Good morning, Annie Rose. Eric and Megan, good morning to you. That's right, two vigils held yesterday evening. One of them was at Monterey Park City Hall. That's just a few blocks away from where I'm standing right now. That one drawing hundreds of people out as a community to mourn together. The other one happening right here at the Star Dance Studio behind me. Eric and Megan, this is where the shooting took place. And I'm gonna step aside so you can take a look a, a little bit better at the growing makeshift memorial that is here as we as we speak. You can see the candles, the wreaths, some of the photos of those 11 lives lost. Now again, Megan and Eric, this is where the shooting took place when a 72 year old opened fire here in the parking lot and continued shooting into the dance studio, shooting 20 and killing 11. As of this morning, still no motive, but a community continues to come together and mourn the lives lost. Take a listen. Seeing you guys here and giving support to the people, to the families who have lost loved ones. Megan and Eric, these are some of the scenes last night at two vigils held here in Monterey Park. One at the Star Dance Studio, the other at Monterey Park City Hall. The mayor telling me yesterday these vigils are so important for people to process this tragedy. Some laying flowers and candles, bringing balloons to the scene and to the City Hall, where hundreds, hundreds showed up last night. Among those who spoke were families and friends of the victims, including a daughter, a heartbroken daughter. Her father, Valentino Alvero, among the 11 who lost their lives in the shooting, his family says he came to this dance hall, dance studio all the time because he loved to dance. Take a listen. I like to think that he danced his way into heaven. This place was just a big part of our lives and I never thought it would take this kind of turn. I'm standing by his van. I just can't believe it's still here. Heartbreaking. Now take a look at this. All 11 victims who died in the shooting have now been identified. They range in age from 57 to 76 years old. Many of them described as regulars here at the dance studio, all attending a Lunar New Year celebration Saturday night that only had about one more hour left in the event before it came to a tragic, tragic end. Now back live here at the scene, we're gonna show you a little bit more of that makeshift memorial. Again, those wreaths there showing the 11 lives lost, each one signifying a life. Some of them with the Reeves have photos inside of them that show the victim, the photo of the victim who lost their lives. We know that there's gonna be another vigil held here tonight here at the Star Dance Studio, the scene of that shooting. That's supposed to start at around 6 p.m. The mayor telling us all are welcome at every single vigil. He wants people to feel like they can mourn together as a community and feel safe in order to come here. Now, we also know, as Megan and Eric, you guys both mentioned, Vice President Kamala Harris will be visiting today. She will be sitting down with some of the victim families. This will not be open to the public, that meeting. That's a private meeting that's set to happen around 5 p.m. tonight, but she does also plan on laying a wreath at the memorial and she plans on doing that publicly. So we expect to hear from her here in, um, in um, Monterey Park later tonight at around 5 or 6 p.m. Reporting live from the scene of that shooting here in Monterey Park, I'll send it back to you both in the studio.